Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, we're making strawberry nachos because we've never even heard of a diet. What's a diet? Who cares? The most important part of a nacho is the cheese. That's debatable. But for this recipe, it kind of is, and also the strawberries. But this is some plain cream cheese that's been sitting out on the counter, but it's kind of cold in my house. It should be softer than that. I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar, a couple tablespoons, and some orange zest. Lime zest is also really good, but I'm gonna use orange today because I got these fancy pants blood oranges. And whenever you're zesting things, make sure you wash it first. Typically, I think people don't wash oranges or, or citrus, and you don't really need to because you don't usually eat the rind, but when you're zesting, you are eating it. So give it a scrub. That's a health and safety tip. Don't wash it in the toilet. That would be anti-health and safety. And then we're just gonna mash this all together. Okay, once that is smooth and delicious. We can set it aside and make our crispy sugar-coated tortilla chips. This is really the magic of the recipe. We've got flour tortillas here. I'm just gonna generously brush one side of them with some melted butter. Get all the way to the edges. Super shiny. And then in this old-timey pioneer era shaker, I've got some cinnamon sugar. I'm just gonna, again, generously coat each tortilla in some cinnamon sugar. If you don't like cinnamon, you could use vanilla sugar or you could just use regular old sugar. But I encourage you to experiment. And you know, don't worry about getting it all over the place because the ants will eat that. Just kidding. Hopefully I won't attract ants. Okay, I'm gonna cut each of these into quarters and put them on a baking sheet. Okay, once they're on in a single layer, I'm gonna put them in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes until they are nice and crispy and the sugar's all melty. And meanwhile, we will macerate some strawberries. Not masturbate. We're gonna pour a little bit of orange liqueur over our strawberries. If you are serving this to kids, just leave this out. You can use a little bit of uh, just orange juice. And I'm gonna do a little bit of brown sugar. Also totally optional, you can just use plain diced strawberries if you want. But I just love the combination of brown sugar and strawberries. Caramel note that goes well with our crusty cinnamon tortillas. And then we're gonna set these aside and let them macerate. And the juices will come out and it'll kind of almost become like a strawberry salsa, like a chunky salsa thing. The fourth component, yes, the fourth component is an optional sour cream dip. But honestly, anything with sour cream and dip is not optional. So I've just got a little bit of sour, uh, sour cream here. I'm gonna add some powdered sugar again. And I'm gonna add the blood orange juice, just about a tablespoon. And I like using blood orange for this recipe because the pigment in this, it just like makes this sauce turn, look how gorgeous that is. Jeez, nature, you're killing me. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Blood oranges, you're my savior. Hmm, that's a good joke about Jesus and stuff. Savior, blood. All right, I'm gonna add a little more powdered sugar because it is a dessert. And I'll stick this in the fridge and let the strawberries set out at room temperature and then come back in a couple minutes when we have our toasty tortilla chips and I'll assemble. Uh, this actually took about 12 minutes, but you'll know when they're ready, when the edges of the tortillas are a little bit brown and they're puffed up and then the bottoms are a little bit toasty and they'll continue to crisp up as they cool. And I put my cream cheese mixture in a little plastic bag so we can do a cute squeeze action. So the easiest way to do that is to uh, use a jar or a glass or something to hold the bag open and you can like s slap your cream cheese in there and then cut a little tiny corner off this and we have an impromptu piping bag. So to assemble, let's see, let's get, let's get this one. Ooh. We're just gonna squirt a little, squirt a little cream. There we go. 
pretty. A little bit of our strawberries. And these, like you really should eat them right away as soon as you assemble it, but they're, it's easy to make for a party or a dinner party or something because you can make all the components well ahead of time. So if you like this recipe, I'll also link to a ice cream tacos that I did last year, which is kind of similar, and we're using the flour tortillas to make taco shells. But this is fun, and look how pretty that is. Yay, and you could garnish it with a little bit of mint or basil would be good too. <gasps> Cream cheese is one of the greatest joys in life, as are strawberries. I hope that you like this recipe. Please don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. I'll put a link below, and I hope you try this recipe. It's a winner. Okay, bye.